Hey guys, I'm Abhil back again with another video. I believe that all of you are doing really good during this lockdown and you guys are following the government's instructions and your local authorities' instructions. So please stay safe, stay at home. So let's get back to this video now. This time it is about five Android apps which are really useful according to me. I'm going to share with you guys in this video. And I would like to ask you one question that do you know how to lock your USB drive using your smartphone? Or do you know how to play two songs on your smartphone at once. If you don't know then continue watching this video. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. So let's start with the first app. It is called USB Lock Kit. And this helps you to secure your data in USB drives, you know, by, you know, putting passwords. And it's very simple to use. Let me show you how does it work. I don't have that USB type C ODZ cable, so I'm going to use this device, SUS Max Pro M2. So you just have to connect your, you know, the USB drive with the phone and then open the app like this. And what you have to do simply, it will ask you to put the password. Okay, simply put the password here. One, two, three, four, five, six, suppose. Then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, lock. Now this USB drive is passport protected now what i can show you here suppose if i have connected this device to my pc now here you can see on the screen that it is shown as locked now what i have to do i have to insert it again and then i have to unlock it one two three four five six then unlock and you can use this device anywhere you want okay so i believe that this is going to help those people who carry you know uh, data in their usb drives the next step is a pop-up dictionary. How does it work? Let me show you this. Suppose if you're here on this web page, right? Suppose if I'm reading this web page and if something is there that I don't know, any word that I don't know, suppose this one, and simply tap there, select that word, and this will be there for you, look up. Tap there and you will get the meaning, the words, relevant words here, synonyms here. So this is a really helpful, or I can say a quite handy feature here. Now you can change the plugins here by default if you tap here. By default, uh, it comes with this one. Let me show you that. Settings, then dictionary plugins. By default, this is the one, WordNet dictionary. If you want to change it to Google, then you can download that Google plugin and then you will get the Google you know, provided meanings or words for this. So it's really simple to use and it's really effective, particularly those people who really uh, read a lot on web pages and you know if you want to read more about certain words know their meanings their synonyms then you can do it simply tap here like this and you will get this pop-up window here with the meanings and synonyms so it's really really helpful according to me the next app is split cloud using this app what you can do you can play two songs at once let me show this now you have two different players here you can see uh, this one and this one so both of them are playing two different songs so you can obviously play any one of these now the good thing about this is that you can use earphones and you can listen to two different songs so that means if you're sharing your earphones with someone your friend your girlfriend or anyone else now both of you can listen to two different songs so the bottom one will be played on the right earbuds and the top one will be played on the left earbuds so this is really really helpful according to me the next app is this one rotation manager using this app what you can do you can set default rotation for particular apps now let me show you this suppose if i want to see uh, this chrome always in portrait mode then what i can do simply go to chrome here and i can select the default rota uh, rotation here suppose chrome and set it to portrait simply do this it's very simple now if i want to see this uh, YouTube always in landscape so what I can do select YouTube and then select landscape okay if you want to select uh, automatic then you can also do that auto okay now if I launch this Chrome here even if I change it it will not it will not change the rotation here now if I launch YouTube now okay so automatically it will change the rotation to landscape so this is how it works and it is uh, really helpful if you don't want to you know 
get those uh, in automatic rotation when you're using something particularly when you are in Chrome something you are doing on Chrome browsing something if the orient, uh, orientation or the rotation changes it it is sometimes uh, really annoying so the last app is split screen and this app will help you to create shortcuts I can say and you can launch two different apps in one go now let me show you this select the first one the top app suppose if i want to use this one suppose whatsapp okay select that here second one uh, youtube where is youtube this one okay done save it add automatically and you will have this shortcut here let me show this yeah this one if you want to drag it to the home screen you can do that here now what you can do simply tap here and both the apps will be launched in one go okay so you can check your whatsapp as well as you can check your youtube you can listen to songs whatever you want to do so this is also really helpful according to me so guys you tell me uh, which one of these uh, apps you have found uh, that is really useful or you know you can use it uh, and if you think that none of these are actually useful do let me know and if you want me to make more videos than on apps then do let me know in the comment section so guys take care and till the next video cheers and don't forget to subscribe and share your opinions cheers